As part of an ongoing effort to modernize the battlefield, the U.S. Army is working with Cord Technologies to put laser weapons on the ground. The newly created Directed Energy Maneuver Short Range Air Defense System or DEM Shored for short, a 50-kilowatt class laser integrated onto a striker vehicle, is designed to shoot down threats like drones and mortars without the use of guns and heavy artillery. Following a successful combat shoot-off earlier this year, Cord Technologies is preparing four prototypes of the laser weapon system, which are mounted on armored striker vehicles, to be deployed into the field in September 2022. Hello everyone, welcome back again to U.S. Defense. Today discussion is how the U.S. Army is harnessing laser technology as a defense strategy. Before watching, please subscribe to the channel. Here, Wesley Freywald, Vice President for Space Superiority and Missile Defense at KBR, Cord Technologies' parent company, explains just how this groundbreaking system works and why it's a valuable asset for the Army. What is the DEM Shored Weapon System? The lasers being created for the Army are nothing like the lasers you know. Compared to the average laser pointer, which is around 0.005 watts and effectively harmless, the DEM Shored weapon systems have significantly more power. As much as 50 kilowatts of power, to be more exact. They can destroy drones and mortars, providing assistance to troops and protection in the field. For those who want to get technical, the DEM Shored weapon system uses solid-state lasers that leverage the lanthanide elements on the periodic table lanthanum, 57, to lutetium, 71, otherwise known as rare earth metals. These elements have high excitation levels, meaning you can get a lot of power or energy out of them without chemicals or gas. And this is helpful to the army for a number of reasons. The Benefits of the DEM Shored Weapon System According to Freywald, solid-state lasers can help reduce the cost per kill, a metric that's often used to measure a defense system's worth. Hauling heavy lead and explosives around requires a bunch of logistics and is very costly, he says. With solid-state lasers, all you really need is a large battery supply, which, in case of DEM Shored Weapon System, is already integrated on the striker vehicle. Since you're not carrying around commercial ordinances, accounting for the people required to restock those things, solid-state lasers are, logistically, a little more friendly. The leave-behind, or lack thereof, is another significant benefit of the DEM Shored system. You aren't leaving unexploded ordinances on the battlefield, which is a huge problem. The leave behind from using this type of laser technology for targeted defense is a burnt-up drone or mortar, which can no longer pose a threat. While the risk is never zero, the DEM Shored system is generally easier, more cost-effective, and safer to use than traditional kinetic ballistic weapons. You turn it on, and you turn it off, Freywald says. With a rocket, you have to load it, launch it, and keep your fingers crossed while it's heading toward the target. If it hits it, great. If it doesn't, then you've got to load another rocket and start the process all over again. The first four prototypes. Several companies are collaborating to build each component of the DEM Shored system, from the striker vehicles and the lasers to the laser banks, but CORD and KBR are the glue holding the project together. You need to integrate all of these pieces, and KBR is an expert integration company with a long history in the directed energy business, Freywald says. The company is currently finishing four prototypes that will go out into the field next September. If these are successful, the Army is looking at procuring more of them to work alongside the kinetic programs, he adds. 
Once soldiers begin using this system in tactical environments, KBR will take back any lessons learned from the first four prototypes and start optimizing and tailoring them for future use. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next videos.